Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And I just got a phone call from a friend of mine, Cody Dunn. He is getting ready to take his boat out. He is going to pre fish and kind of scout an area around, an area around for the Flatty Daddy tournament that's going to happen this Saturday on October 17th. So it's kind of a late start for us. It's really late morning by the time we get out there and get on the water and get on the spot spots. But if you haven't, if you never heard of the Flatty Daddy tournament, I advise you to take a look at it. It is a flounder tournament and it's open to bank fishing, weight fishing, kayakers, as well as fishing via boat. So check them out, check their website. I'm gonna leave their link below. I know there's a bunch of different ways you can win 25,000. I think there's four different ways you can win 25 grand, but it's it should be a lot of fun. A lot of anglers do this every year. I think this is their seventh tournament. So check them out. Look at the links below. Keep your fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I had a hit the same time you did. <laughs> Except yours stayed on. <laughs> they trying to get it. <laughs> you see that silver in it. Yeah. Right oh! oh! Quick release. I like that. Right. There we go. You got him? A little guy. A little speck. Yeah. Oh, not so small. No. no. A little bigger than that. Yeah. A little bigger than I thought. Undersized though. Size. Every size matters. Doubled up. Oh, a little speckle. Yeah, baby. There he goes. Small guy. Captain Cody. <laughs> Captain Cody. Going back, right? Is it going back? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing over you. <laughs> There we go. Oh, he had it. He had it. We had a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Not so much a winner. You got another one? Uh oh. That one coming? The smoker. Got a smoker. Uh oh, low red. Undersized? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a pretty one. That's a pretty one, huh? That is a pretty fish. Gotta love that pumpkin spice, baby. <laughs> that's what it is. Woo! I like that. There we go. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get another one because it'd be twice as nice. There we go. You got him? Yeah. You got a little guy? Yeah, he's swimming towards me. I think it's, you know, a 13 incher. Uh oh. You no, know, a multi spotter, do that. Pretty good. Oh, there's a better look at that. Oh, yeah, those are nice. That's a nice to find spot. All right. All right. This wood's probably helping us with the noise. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You got him? Yeah, a little, little bit. Watch out, birds. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's a nice well, bag. It got bigger. <laughs> it got bigger as it got closer. Oh, he got off too. Oh, <laughs> Dang it. That was a gooder. You got one? Yeah. yeah. Right there, in front of there you go. Oh, that's a nice one. That's cool, buddy. motor. Jumped off the bank. No, you're good. You're good. You got him? That's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Flatty daddy. Flatty daddy. Little, little free fishing for the flatty daddy. That's uh, the size I typically, typically can't say it. That's typical for me during a tournament. 13 and three quarters. <laughs> 14 and three quarters a day. All right. Yeah, that's squeaked yeah, out 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a 15 -er. Last season you'll ever be able to keep flounder? Sure. Maybe. Whenever you see birds diving, it's always great to work that area. You want to cast over the school, over the position where the birds are, and just swim your lure, or in this case, my spoon, back to you. Using spoons is always great. It doesn't matter if it's windy or if it's calm. If the water is clear or if it's dirty, spoons are just so, vers so versatile. Whether you're fishing in very shallow water like we are, or if you're fishing in a lot deeper, maybe even the surf, you could just never go wrong with throwing a spoon. In this case, I put a spoon on for the simple fact that it was blowing pretty hard, the wind was blowing pretty good, and I saw Cody having success, so I put a spoon on as well. Another dink to add to our collection for the day. Cody thought he had a nice speck on, but when it broke surface, he realized it was just a little baby red, but still fun to reel in. Well, the birds quickly went away again and we moved to another location it was just dead we just weren't hooking up we talked to a few other people they weren't hooking up either they just wasn't in our cards today we got a late start but i always love being on the water always have fun with my buddy cody so i wasn't going to hesitate when he asked me to come out with him and do a little pre-fishing for a tournament that he's going to be in i'm not going to be able to make it this year but thanks for watching 
Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hopefully next time, you'll catch me. Hook it up. Thanks. Got a fish jump in the boat. Try to eat some paste contains. <laughs>